Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA 5th grade edition. We are on the following standard maths.5.mb.mb md.2.2. This is lesson 18 and we're doing line plots today. Um, it's going to be pretty easy until we get to that last one and there's a bunch of different steps. So I've only got three examples for you today, but there's a bunch of different parts to it. So let's get to it, okay? Let me teach ya. Okay, example one. The students in Mrs. Sorrell's class at Dillard Street Elementary, what's up kids, um, created this line plot by measuring the lengths of their feet. I hope y'all took a shower, because I don't want my stinky feet to measure. What is the total length in inches of the longest foot and the shortest foot in Mrs. Sorrell's class? And I've just blown up the equation editor here. So, here's what we're gonna do. The total length, so if we're doing the total length, that means we're gonna be adding those babies, all right? And we've got the longest foot and the shortest foot. So the longest foot would be eight and one, two, eight and two fourths inches. And the shortest foot would be down here. And I know there's two of them, but we're just gonna take one of those. And that would be six and one, two, three fourths. Six and three fourths. And since we are finding the total amount, we will add them. All right, our denominators are cool, they're the same, so we can just start adding. Let's do our whole numbers. 8 plus 6 equals 14. And then we have, keep our denominator the same. 2 plus 3 is 5, but we can't leave it like that. We can't have a numerator greater than the denominator with a mixed number. So we're going to take, we would switch that to 15, and we would be left with 1 fourth. So, what's the total length? It would be 15, 1 fourth, and you would do 1, 5, hit your fraction bar, put 1 in the top, 4 in the bottom, and you're done. Oh snap! I put the Sorrel superheroes in two problems. Major shout out to you all. Based on the information given in example 1, what is the difference of the longest foot? and the shortest foot in Mrs. Sorrell's class. So now we're finding the difference, which means that we need to subtract them. So we're gonna use the same fractional amounts. We've got eight and two fourths minus this time six and three fourths. Now, remember with subtraction, first our denominators match, which is awesome. Takes us to the next step already, but we have to make sure when we're subtracting fractions that this fraction is greater. And right now, 2 fourths is smaller than 3 fourths, so we need to do some regrouping. So I'm going to take away one of these holes. That becomes 7. And I'm going to add on to our numerator 4 equal parts, because that's how many each fraction is broken into 4 parts. So 7 and 6, because 2 plus 4 is 6, 7 and 6 fourths minus six and three fourths. Now I can do my fraction. So six minus three would be three. Keep my denominator the same. And seven minus six is one. So one and three fourths. Is your answer, is your answer, woo All right, last one for today. It's example three. The only thing is example three is broken into part A, B, and C. So three parts for this one. Says Darth Vader. <sighs> Darth Vader is measuring the lengths of his collection of lightsabers. So he's taking his lightsabers. And he's measuring the lengths of them. He organized the lengths in the table below. He has a lot of spare time, you know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. So here are the lengths. What we need to do is create a line plot using the table over here, the data from the table. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but on your guide, you should be okay. 
So this one says two and a half. So I'm gonna go to two. It's halfway between the two and the three. I'm gonna put an X. Three and three eighths. Well, each one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eighths. Each hole is broken into eighths. So I go to the three. One, two, three eighths. Put an X. Three and three fourths. Okay, which would be the same thing as three and. Oops. Three and six eighths. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Put an X. Four and one fourth would be the same thing as. Be equivalent as two, four and two eighths. One two. Put an X. All right, four and five eighths. One, two, three, four, five. Put an X. So I've done one, two, three, four, five. I've done this one. I need to be marking these as I go. Four and one fourth, that was right here, so it just goes on top. Another four and one fourth. Makes my life easy, and four and five eighths. There we go. So that is what your line plot should look like. Just make sure it's hovering right over the fractional amount on the number line. That's how you do it. Part B, how much longer is the longest lightsaber compared to the second shortest lightsaber? So notice how I underline the important parts of that problem. In the computer-based test, you'd be able to highlight if you wanted to, the important parts so that way you don't forget. So we're gonna see how much longer, that means that we're subtracting the longest from the second shortest. So let's locate the longest one. Well, here will be the longest one, and that was four and five eighths. And we're subtracting that from the second shortest one. This is the shortest lightsaber. So the second shortest would be right here. And that was minus three, and I think that was three eighths. Three, yeah, three and three eighths. So do our denominators match? Yes, that's awesome. And this fraction is greater, so we can just start going across. Four minus one would be one. Five minus three would be two. Keep your denominator the same. And that would be one and two eighths, but that's not here because we could reduce, reduce, reduce this further. Divide by two, divide by two, and we would get one fourth. So one and one fourth of a feet. It's not a very Oh, that's just the difference in the lightsabers. All right, last part, part C. It says Darth Vader wants to add two more lightsabers to his collection to have a total length of 39 and 5 eighths feet. So he wants to get it to 39 and 5 eighths feet. That's his goal <clears throat> in lightsaber lengths. Enter two possible lengths into the table that Darth Vader could add. Okay, so he has all of these lightsabers. And when we add them up, we're gonna get a total. But he wants the real total to be 39 and 5 eighths after he adds two more lightsabers. So first, I need to add up all of these lengths to see what I already have. Then I need to subtract it from the total to get what's remaining and then figure out what two lightsabers could fit within that range. So. What I'm gonna do, okay, this one says, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add them up, but I'm gonna go ahead and convert them because these are easy to convert. They should be easy anyway. So two and a half, well, first of all, the, sm the largest denominator that we have is eight, and the denominator two, the denominator in four, and the denominator eight can all be converted to this denominator of eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, okay? So two and a half could be written as two and four eighths plus three and three eighths plus three, this is three and three fourths, so I'm gonna convert that to three and six eighths plus four and one fourth could be written as four and two eighths plus, let me go ahead and get these going, four and five eighths, already an eight, plus four and one fourth, again, four and two eighths. Now you could multiply some of these 
that would be fine too, but um, I know some of you think that it's easier to add them up, so that's what I'm doing. Another four and two eighths plus four and five eighths, and you're probably freaking out right now saying, oh my gosh, how am I gonna add up all these things? It's cool. Let's do the whole numbers first, okay? So two plus three is five, plus three is eight, eight plus four is 12, 12 plus four is 16, 16 plus four is 20, 20 plus four is 24, and 24 plus four is 28, okay? And now I'm going to add my fractions, okay? So it's all gonna be out of eight. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I can just add the numerator to each. So four plus three is seven, seven plus six is 13. 13, I'm gonna go ahead and just try that 13 right there so I remember. 13 plus two is 15, 15 plus five is 20, 20 plus two is 22. 22 plus 2 is 4, 24, and 24 plus 5 is 29, so 29 eighths. Okay, but we have 29 in the numerator and 8 in the denominator, which is not cool when you have a mixed number. So what we need to do is pull out some of those holes. So how many times does 8 go into 29? It goes in about 3 times, because 3 times 8 would be 24. So I'm going to add 3 here, that would give me 31, because I subtracted 3 holes here, because 8 times 3 is 24, okay, and I've added those 3 holes here. So 29 minus 24 would be 5 eighths, so 31 and 5 eighths is the total amount that Darth, Darth Vader currently has right now, okay. But Darth Vader wants a total of 39 and 5 eighths. So I need to subtract what I'm missing. 39 and 5 eighths is what he wants, minus the length that he currently has. Same fraction, so we're good. We're just doing 39 minus 31, which would be 8. So enter two possible lengths into the table that Darth Vader could add. Could add to his collection? Well, what plus what equals eight? You could do four plus four equals eight. You could do five plus five equals eight. I'm gonna make it easy for myself and write four plus four, but anything in here that equals eight feet, when you add them together, would work. So you could do like four and one fourth, and then three and three fourths. If you wanna make it challenging, for yourself you can do that but it's just two things that you can add together to equal that eight feet oh my goodness we're done with that one all right people it is time for me to leave you now and but before I go you know that I have to leave you with this motivational message like I always do and because we were kind of Star Wars themed today and we had Miss Sorrell's superheroes making an appearance today. I have a Star Wars quote for you. Okay? This is from Yoda. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. <laughs> okay. Hashtag worst impression ever of Yoda, but you know. Um, all right, so th this is so true though. Fear leads to anger. When you're afraid of something, you become angry. That's usually where anger is stemmed from. When you have anger, it leads to hate. And when you are all hateful, then really inside you're suffering. So how do we switch that? Well, it kind of goes back to the last quote about happiness being the light that you switch on. Okay, you can find happiness even in a dark place. So even if you feel like you're suffering inside right now, you are overwhelmed. You're afraid of the FSA, and because you're afraid of the FSA, you're angry about the FSA, and then you hate the FSA, and then it's making you suffer inside. Turn on the light. Choose to be happy, okay? Choose to be happy, and then all of a sudden, your world just becomes light again. 
So don't suffer. Be positive. Y'all got this. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.